Hi, I'm back again this week. It's Pastor Smith uh, with the Teacher of the Week, and this week we have Mrs. Kathy Hunter. Uh, she's pretty familiar to a lot of you uh, with the Young Fives and with the SAC program, and so we get to know her a little better today. So thank you for doing this with us, Kathy. Oh, thank you. Uh, I know people get nervous about it, but you don't have to worry about it, okay? <laughs> uh, first, I want to start uh, kind of on a personal note. Uh, tell us about your family. I know a little bit about your family, but yeah. most of the people watching don't. So if you could share something. Um, my parents um, actually are in the process of moving to Warren. Um, I have a sister who is younger than I am. She lives in Sault Ste. Marie. And my brother is actually a teacher at our old high school, at Royal Oak High School, where oh. we went to. He's mm -hmm. teaching there now. Uh, and I know, thank you for giving us your time, too. Because yeah. I know you're, <laughs> you have to help your parents move there. Yes. Uh, they, they need more help than they used to, right? Yes, they do. So uh, how long have you been working with us here at St. John and uh, our Young Fives in SAC? This is my 11th year. Okay. Um, I started, my, my first year here was my son's last year here. Okay. So when he was in the 8th grade, that's mm -hmm. when I started. And same position, I've been with Young Fives in SAC right from the beginning. Uh, well, tell me some of the things that make you the happiest when you think about your time. and just What, what makes you happy as a teacher and as a SAC director? As a teacher with the little ones, it's that when that light comes on, when the last time they didn't get it, and this time I can see in their eyes and they understand it. Mm -hmm. um, as far as SAC goes, I just like to, getting to know the families. I've, that gives me an opportunity to get to know many, many of the families that I wouldn't mm -hmm. otherwise know. Yeah, because you, you get a whole range in there. I mean, you know, from your preschoolers are in there all the way to eighth graders. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that is something. And it is fun to see the light go on in their heads. Isn't oh, it, it is. Yeah. It is. What's even more fun, I think, at some level for me when I teach is to see when their li the light doesn't go on anymore because they're so they they've got it they so got ingrained, it. you know, that <laughs> yeah. it's not exciting to know anymore. No. But um, yeah, here's another question I have for you. Um, what what do you do in your spare time? I actually like to scrapbook. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that in a while, but that's something that, that keeps me going and just the memories and the old photos and I've been scrapbooking for a very long time. That's my thing. Uh, how'd you start that? Um, a friend of mine, um, through actually a friend that I met here through St. John, was something that she was doing and I was doing, and through the two of us together, just spent time going places and scrapbooking together, and just a fun social thing to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's not. I mean, I don't know. I got enough trouble organizing my life, much less now organizing <laughs> something else. I just can't imagine doing that as well. That's one of those things. It's something to keep your mind off of the everyday. Oh, that's yeah. a good way of thinking about yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And you can focus on those things, you know, like when uh, you were talking about Daniel a little bit earlier, your son, you know, to see him when he was little, uh, you know, because yes. he's always been a pretty tall guy. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, but to, to see that, and, and, and those are good memories always, aren't mm -hmm. they? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what did you work, what else, I can't even talk, where else did you work before you came here? The majority of my working has been in child care centers. Okay. Um, teaching, but the most of the years were spent as a director. Um, I worked in centers that had infants all the way up through school age kids. Um, and I spent a lot of time at different um, corporate on site centers. So I worked with the DMC, oh, okay. um, the, Mac, the federal building. Okay. I, I was running the centers in those buildings. Okay, well, that's an interesting, I mean, because there you really meet a different group of people, right? Absolutely. I mean, at Detroit Medical Center, uh, the DMC, you get to meet. I mean, all kinds of people. Yes. I mean, all kinds of different ethnic backgrounds, all different kinds of places. Yes. Um, yeah. And the federal building, uh, that would be interesting, too, because you would have, again, a full range, you know, some who yeah. are on the on the side of the law, maybe, or yeah. <laughs> some who were, yeah. who were coming in because they had walked maybe. astray a little, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a funny how that works. Mm -hmm. So that that's a, makes an interesting background. Yes. This must be kind of quiet and boring compared to that. Boring, no, but quiet, absolutely, yes. <laughs> uh, well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. It's not too boring for you. No, anyway. not at all. Okay. Uh, you're gonna, we're going to wrap up here. We've been talking for a little bit, and I guess um, I'm going to ask you, first in wrapping up, do you have a favorite memory that you enjoy, just something that brings a special smile to you when you think about your 10 years here at St. John? Wow. I stumped you on this one. You I'm did. Sorry. You did. Um, I'm I'm a very emotional person. And those that know me know that. Mm -hmm. um, last year's graduating class was my first class. Okay. And following them through the year, 
and I, I, I kind of took some of their losses were kind of my losses as well. Okay. Because that yeah. was my first group, and they didn't yeah. get what they should have gotten. Yeah, they walked all the way through, but didn't get the DC stuff. And Right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, can, I can understand that. I can understand yeah. that. Uh, um, this year, you know, with confirmation, you know, these are kids I baptized. Yeah. I know, that's oh, kind of yeah. a freaky thing. Yeah. One last thing, yes. okay, and that is, do you have anything else you would like to share with the people who are watching us and who have uh, getting to know, got to know you a little more today? You know, just this place has become a place of family for me. Mm-hmm. Um, the people that I work with, the children that come and go, the families that come and go, it, this is a second piece of my family, mm-hmm. and it's very special to me. Okay. Well, thank you, Kathy. And thank you. I hope you've learned to know Mrs. Hunter a little better today. It's been a joy for 10 years now. We've been yeah. here together. So thank you, Kathy, for your time and your service, and thank you for watching us again.